think connecting more young professionals to this area would happen if we had more opportunity to know each other as people first. I think the region has a lot to offer and it's just continuing to grow, continuing to support the residents that live here and um, keeping the great place that it is. We need to continue to find innovative ways to bring in other companies to the area. How do we make our communities more vibrant, walkable, give access to the water, arts, and culture? That's what, that's what people are looking for. We have to really stop thinking selfishly and think about what's the best for the area, for the group as a whole, and be kind. So manufacturing was the hub and the core of what the, the three cities were 100 years ago, and trying to bring back some of what was lost over the last 100 years would be, would be a huge accomplishment and, and a great prosperous uh, future for the Capital District. I would like to see the Capital Region continue to attract big employers. With trickle-down economics, uh, you have more employees, the better off the region will be. Creating somewhat of a hub for where other different businesses um, from different like you know races, different backgrounds, and kind of come together and kind of like work together to show people that there's so much more that the Capital Region has to offer. Make the Albany area a more uh, business-friendly environment and for younger professionals to be attracted to this area. The change from working for a huge company to a small one provided a tremendous amount of growth and leadership opportunities that would have taken a lot longer to realize in a, a larger setting. Lavella Associates offers a Propel program where it really is about building the future leaders in the company. I participated in that in 2021 and it showed me that I really could and did want to grow in the company and continue to be a leader. I want people to know who I am. I want people to want to work with me. And I want to be somebody that when people think of me, they think of me and the work that I'm doing in the most positive of ways. That's what makes me love what I do is this innovation that we have in this industry, especially with everything going electric nowadays. It's only going to get more and more innovative, more and more uh, technology driven. I don't even think about work when I think about that. I just think about trying to find my own balance and my own happiness. We can have everything. It doesn't mean you just have to be a mom or just have to be a professional, but you have to have respect for yourself to do it and know your boundaries, and that's hard. We also want to scale and be able to hire more young professionals from different high schools in our apprenticeship program. Just be you, because the people that love you and respect you, they're going to be there no matter what. Don't fear making mistakes. Uh, the mistakes are part of the process, and a lot of times the lessons learned in those mistakes ultimately help drive future successes. Is to continue to be curious, ask questions, uh, be okay with not knowing the answer and saying so. If I had come out of my shell sooner, it would have helped me in my career. To work a little bit harder, push myself a little bit further past my limits. Slow down. Enjoy each moment. Just take time to breathe and relax. Make your dreams a reality, even if no one understands it or sees the vision. From each of those, I've grown, grown from all of the mistakes, and I think the advice I would give myself is to not be so hard on myself. When I'm working collaboratively with communities, starting to come up with ideas that really could have an impact. If it's easy, everybody would do it. When it's hard, it's, uh, it's exciting. You feel like you really accomplished something and it helps build upon that and you learn from what you did too. There's nothing like having a team win and that's always uh, something that energizes me. Of all things, I'd be in politics and one day I hope to run for office. So I feel like I'd be like a public speaker or a speaker of some sort or a pastor. I would find a way to be a teacher. I, I love the idea of impacting youth, I always have. It was my original career path anyway, was to be a teacher. 